This seems to be... Ugh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and I love yoga and plants. Although, right now, I don't really love my plants. I seem to have gotten some bug infestation. So I ordered different products to treat it, but I also got a microscope to figure out what kind of bugs I have. And I just had a little check and I'm creeped out already. I have goosebumps because I saw on my little baby orchid, I saw lots of red bugs walking around. <laughs> so I immediately moved it outside and decided to film for you because it's fascinating and scary as fuck. So let's go see what kind of bugs I have. And hopefully you guys can help me identify because I have no clue what I'm doing. I did order also some kind of treatment that was recommended to me, an organic like natural one, but a spray, and then some neem oil as well to kill as many of these ha assholes that are ruining my plants. Let's go have a look. It's not ideal for either the plants of me to be outside because I was just sick and the plants are obviously also sick, but they just have to deal because I don't want my whole house to be infested. I got this microscope that is hard to focus with because as soon as you touch this, then the thingy moves and you don't know where you're looking at again. And the badness started when I checked out this Dendrobium Nora Tukunaja aberrans orchid, one of the last leftovers of my orchid days. And I checked one of the leaves that was looking weird and it's just crawling with bugs. So let's see if I can find some more. Yeah, I just see them everywhere already. I'm gonna probably have to either kill this plant or do something drastic with it because it's not it's not good. Let's try and get you some shots of dirty little bugs. So set up where you think the bugs are, then try and focus onto the leaf. That went pretty okay. Hit record. And then I slowly start to move on the table so that I don't have to touch the microscope anymore because that just gets super chaotic and messy. Those red things are the bugs I was talking about earlier. And then there's some white things as well. What is that? Is that the larva of the same red bugs? What do you think, Mickey? That just looks gross to me. Ugh. Okay, so this one is definitely infected all over because that's a different leaf than the one I saw oh, before. Holy shit, this one is covered completely. I'm gonna have to show this to you because it's fascinating. If you haven't had a microscope before, this must be very creepy, like it was for me. Check out these buggers. All over the place. It literally is covered now that I notice it. You can see them everywhere. Huh? Steering with this thing is so hard. On the other footage, they were actually moving and walking around. These guys seem to be sitting still. So maybe they dead. And I'm like the most animal friendly person I know. And these guys I just want to kill. They're eating my plants. Look how creepy they are. They're like little aliens. <laughs> okay, this plant is basically screwed. I think I'm going to bin it. What do you think? Mickey, what do you think? I'm just going to put it down here. Bye. Oh, and I was going to put on gloves because apparently that helps. I'm going to put on gloves right now. <sighs> I'm scaring my cat a lot. So, since probably this whole area is now covered in these little buggers, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know about these guys. This is my first time having something like this or realizing I have something like this because probably I've had pests before but I just never knew there was such a thing as pests. I just thought my plants miraculously started to do really bad. <laughs> so. These guys I checked inside already as well and they seem to have a lot of bugs. Oh, clean the thing, yes. Clean, 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 spray. This is peroxide 3% which I got from my orchid days, disinfecting. It was taught to me by Danny of Miss Orchid Girl. She's awesome on YouTube. These three plants that I got recently at Intratown, 
I think they're part of the start of an infestation in my house because if you look at the the roots and the soil it just seemed to have different bugs on there like I took some photos already of them but I'm gonna try to show you in video because I'm getting better at this whole microscope business either way these plants are not my favorites right now because they brought pests into my house so I might be a little mean to them and I still have one that's hopefully without pests from a different place so if you're thinking why she's so mean now you know I see something that looks like a small bug like a aphid <gasps> what is that that's so creepy ah where did it go oh no there it is oh it's moving no that's the wind there's wind here I'm outside Oh, that's so creepy. What is that? What is that, guys? Yeah, that's better. So. These guys are on my Peperomia prostrata. Taking some photos for Instagram. So those are pretty visible. So these ones are going to be treated, I think. Or maybe I'll throw them away as well. I'm getting pretty ruthless with this because I don't want to lose my favorite plants. Yeah, these ones I'm just going to throw away. Sorry, I'm going to throw them out. I've decided. My cats are pretty surprised I'm outside because I've been inside for a full week on the sofa with them. And now I'm outside again. Hey, Mixer. Don't eat those. They're infested with bugs. I want to keep at least one. I thought they were so adorable. All right, let's check this other orchid that I've got that was right next to the other one for a long time. So I don't have high hopes for this one. This was my Dendrobium, I don't know the name anymore, I called it Dobby, so that's my name for it. It's done, done pretty well. Woo, it's actually pretty root bound. That's cool, I haven't repotted this since I got it. Probably there are a lot of better ways, so I hope you know I'm learning from all of the things I'm doing. I'm not trying to be a professional showing you how it's done because there are so many talented YouTube channels and podcasts and stuff that are horticulturalists and that know so much more, so much more than me. This is just fun, <laughs> except it's not with these bugs, but okay. So let's see. Do we see any of the red buggers on here? Pretty good. Focus. I just see little strings, it looks like. Don't know what they are. Oh, lots of dust or something. Um, some right bits, right, red bits. It might be one of the red bugs. It's not as infested as the other ones that I've seen. I'm gonna just pull it apart a little bit. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You were my little orchid baby. And now I'm not being nice to you anymore. I might be able to save some of these babies, but then they're not really doing much, these orchids. So they're kind of boring to me. I'd prefer to have a nice philodendron or Anthurium. I should have known that there was something wrong, but I'm too chill sometimes. I just accept things as they are, which is one of my best qualities, I think, because I don't judge very quickly. But then also it allows pests to just take over my house. I don't know about this one yet. Stay in here for a moment as I decide your fate. It's very dramatic, I know. Should I switch gloves in between? Because now I'm going to touch my really, really nice plants that I want to stay healthy. I probably should also clean this, but since I'm not gonna put them on there, maybe it's okay. So these are my small plug plants that I bought from Kekieki that I suspect maybe to be sick. The biggest ones that I suspect are sick or have pests, I should say, are my micans my Anthurium clarinervium and my Monstera Peru. These guys, I just kind of thought maybe they're sick because this leaf is not looking very nice, as you can see. 
It might be sunburn or like burn from the grow light that I have on it, but I'm gonna inspect them. This one just opened a new leaf. This one just opened a new leaf as well. And I love these plants, so I want them to do well. Let's go check out these leaves. Should wash my hands in between plants, but these three were really, really close together where they are sitting. So I assume that if one is infected with something, then so is the other. Oh, nice leaf structure over here. These seem to look okay. I don't see anything bad. Last one. Okay, that's reassuring. My huge mycon that I'm super proud of. I was recommended to completely clean it and uh, take the moss pole out and all that. But I just would like to know what pest it is before I cut it up and unroot it and all that stuff. So let's try and see. This is really hard. Maybe I should have taken a lesser zoom. This is a thousand times zoomed. And I thought you can like adjust the zoom, but you can't. You can just focus and unfocus, which is not great. I would like Oda focus and different abilities of zoom. The cats are happy I'm outside for sure. Yeah, Mickey. I'm gonna wash my hands. With this Clarinervium, I posted a photo. I had no idea it might be sick. And someone pointed out that some of the markings on these leaves, you maybe be able to see, are a little bit strange looking. And she said that those are typical signs of thrips. So I'm gonna take my microscope and check them out especially backs of the leaves, right? This new leaf as well, it must have some kind of bugs because the new leaf got all crumpled pretty quickly and it looked perfect a few days ago. I do see some bugs on here. Let's see, can I get you in this shot? Where do you think they put the larva? Because, ew, could this be the larva of some kind of bug put in my beautiful leaf? Oh, if that's the case, I'm, f ugh. Do you see what I mean? Maybe they're just part of the plant's DNA, but okay. You're being treated today. Want to see a pollen up close? This is the pollen of my Clarinervium. Mickey. Ooh, it's pretty cool to see. I know, baby. You want some food, right? Wash hands. Be right back. Peter, the Monstera Spa Peru has been showing some weird things on the new leaves. Like the leaves are browning and dying off. So I figured there must be something wrong with that as well. Yeah, I think it might have some kind of disease. Peter is not happy. Let's see if it is bugs. Come on. Yes, ah, it's walking. What is that? Ah, there's a yellow bug walking on the back of Peter. Ah, that's giving me boost goosebumps again. And not in the good way. Busted. Little asshole. Peter's gonna be treated as well. I kind of have to check all my plants now. No, there's even just normal bugs crawling on me. Ah, send help. I got my two Maranthas. Because I suspect that my beautiful Lemon lime has some kind of issues because the leaves are not developing and looking the way they should. And also my normal fascinator tricolor. So I'm just gonna take a closer look to see if I can discover any bugs. What is that? Is it a bug or just some dirt? It's always a question, isn't it? it? Needs a proper clean. Check. I don't see bugs, but I'm gonna clean them anyway. Last but not least. Well, not last. I think I'm going to check all of my plants now. I don't really know about this one. I can repot it because it's not really happy in this pot anyway. It's an annoying pot that it was hanging in when I bought it. Okay, it looks pretty good. I'm going to repot and spray it just for show. Maybe I can show you some outdoor bugs that are on these leaves. What is that? It's literally eating the leaf as I'm looking at it. Ah. Okay, this is creeping me out. What are you doing? What are you doing? Could you please stop eating my plant right now? Hello, sir? Hello, sir? Please stop eating my plant. <laughs> I'm fascinated now. 
So that's some of the outdoor bugs. I actually want to check my hibiscus, which had spider mites. Hibiscus, people, people hibiscus. So this guy had some kind of bugs. <sighs> when he was inside, I put him outside straight away because I didn't want to infect my other plants. And I kind of plan to, because he's pretty stocky, to cut it back pretty dramatically, but maybe in spring. This seems to be, oh, those look like the same ones that were on my orchid. Is that spider mites? Red, orangey, creepy crawly, looks like a spider. Yeah, probably, because it looks like a spider, shit. Now it all makes sense. I saw a spider mite up close, that was gross. Hmm. That looks more like a mosquito kind of buggy thing. Okay, so spider mites, I guess, is the main message of this plant. These are all dead. See? Dead baby mites, maybe? Oh, there's a live one. Okay, let's clean those plants up. First of all, let's walk our little path to bin these bitches that infected all my other plants. Bye! By the way, how awesome is our grass progressing? We are very proud of it. Hey, Editing Rose here. I decided to make it into different parts because this video is already quite long and I need to go to bed, it's really late. So part one is the discovering of the bugs and then part two is gonna be treating for bugs. And there might be a part three because I've already, since October, have discovered many more bugs. I'm sorry to cut it a little bit short. If you were expecting one hour and 15 minutes, like I said on my Instagram, <laughs> you might be a little bit disappointed. But I really hope you enjoyed all the microscope footage. And I can't wait to show you what I did to treat them all next week. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I post every week about yoga and plants. See you in the next video. Bye.